Hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about the common error which usually many of them has faced while installing Windows Server 2019 in VMware Workstation. This is the error maximum people would have noticed that Windows cannot find the Microsoft software license terms. Make sure the installation sources are valid and restart the installation. So at first we will be doing the installation and we will be creating this error and thereafter we will be coming out to the solution part. So let's begin. This is my VMware workstation. I have already downloaded the operating system that is the ISO file of Windows Server 2019. So I will start with the installation. I will create a virtual machine first. Uh, selecting the typical that is the default option, I will click next. Install the image, uh, disk image. It is in the C drive download folder. Okay, this is what I need. I will select this. I will click next. It is asking me for the personalized Windows name. I will say Windows Server. I don't have key with me. I will proceed to next. Yes. Virtual machine name. I uh, will keep Windows Server 2019. Location is by default C drive. I don't have much more space in C drive. I will put machine in D drive. You can keep it default also. And say Windows Server. And okay. I will proceed to next. I will make the this size to be 80. 60 is there that is also okay next I have much more resources so for me I will put 496 or else you can keep it default also but the same machine I will be using for several other applications that's the reason I am just increasing the resources uh, power on the virtual machine after creation and I will proceed to finish The machine will automatically power on because I have checked that option and now the installation will start. It will take some time to process. Okay, over here you have four options for installing your operating system. Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation and Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation with desktop experience. Windows Server 2019 data center evaluation, Windows Server 2019 data center evaluation with desktop experience. What is the difference? See, first two are the standard evaluation and the last two are the data center evaluation. But there is a something additional that is desktop experience. So when you talk about Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation or a data center evaluation, the first and third option. Over here, it will omit most of the window graphical environment and manage with a command prompt and PowerShell or remotely with the Windows Admin Center or other tools. But I need fully GUI ex experience. I want to experience fully GUI graphic user interface and I want a data center evaluation. So I will be opting for option number four uh, and I will in, uh, proceed with this option that is Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evaluation Data uh, Desktop Experience and I will click next. So guys this uh, the error which I was talking about in the uh, start of the video you, uh, you will face this error over here and you can see it is saying that Windows cannot find the Microsoft software license terms make sure the installation sources are valid and restart the installation. So what is the solution? We have created an error now. What is the solution? So let's begin with the solution. Very first thing you will just turn off this machine, the VM machine which you have created, virtual machine which you have created. You will delete this VM. Uh, 
you will create a new virtual machine and there is a small twist which you need to see over here the options will be as it is typical you will select typical and proceed to next just over here when you will say that installer disk image and you will locate the file you will say that i will install the operating system later so it will say that it is saying that the virtual machine will be created a blank hard disk yes click next the guest operating system will be microsoft windows version will be windows server 2019 same either can occur in 2016 also so whatever it is the procedure is same to resolve the issue click next virtual machine name i will keep windows server 2019 and location i will locate in d drive as i told you that i don't have a space in c drive i will create a folder and i will say windows machine okay I have located the machine in D drive under folder windows machine next I will increase to 80 you can keep 60 also not an issue next we will customize the hardware and we will make it to 4096 but note that even with this setting the default setting your machine will work I have some other things to do later on so I am just expanding the resources and I will say finish so now the virtual machine is created without the OS. Before powering on this virtual machine, what you will do, you will edit the virtual machine settings. And over here, you will now attach the ISO image by browsing. I have stored in downloads. I will be, yeah, this is the Windows 2019 ISO image file. And I will say OK. Once I have done with this, uh, now I will power on the virtual machine. okay it's asking language to install i will keep all things defaults english english keyboard input us next install now Okay, so again you have option over here as we have sele uh, selected the option number 4 in last time. So same we will select over here. I want Windows Server 2019, Data Center Evaluation, Desktop Experience. And guys you will see now the error which was occurring and uh, now it will not occur because we have just made a small twist uh, where uh, we have said that uh, during the uh, time of creating a virtual machine we uh, have opted that we will uh, install our operating system later. And later on, after the VM was created, we have attached the ISO image file, right? So now we will say next. See, now you are not getting any kind of such errors, right? I accept the license terms. Next, I will be selecting this option custom. Uh, I won't be doing for partition. Next. And the Windows setup has successfully started. The installation has started and it will be successfully completed. So till the time the installation is going on, I will keep the video pause so that we the video size is not increased a lot. now the installation is just about to finish it's installing some updates now
So we'll restart the machine now. asking me for the administrator password okay I will configure the password and simply I will finish click on finish so you can see now uh, we have successfully installed Windows Server 2019 on VMware workstation Oh, uh, and we have overcome this error uh, so we are able to log in now let's see if we can log in yes we can log into the machine as well so guys finally we overcome the error and we have successfully installed the windows operating so for the solution to such errors keep watching my video if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe now and share with your friends thanks and see you in the next video